I recently converted my Ender 3 to a direct drive system, then this happened. This is a prime example why it's important to calibrate your E-steps. Now here's how you fix it. Measure 100 millimeters on your filament, then mark using a piece of tape. Preheat your nozzle, then wait until it's hot enough to purge the filament. Now go to settings, motion, moving axis, extruder, choose move by tens, and then input 100 millimeters. Compute your actual extruded filament by subtracting the remaining filament. In my case, it's 100 millimeters minus 35 millimeters. That gives me 65. My Ender 3 only extruded 65 millimeters when it should have been 100 millimeters. That was way off. Now here's the formula to find the correct E-step value. Requested extrude length divided by the actual extruded length, then multiply that to your current E-step value. Now let's substitute our values. So 100 divided by 65 equals, multiply that to 93. That gives me 143. Input that as your new E-step value, then don't forget to save so it won't reset when you turn off your printer. Now it should extrude exactly 100 millimeters. Print something to confirm everything is working properly. Your prints should now be back to being strong, dimensionally accurate and not transparent like before. Here are some of the signs that you might need to calibrate your E-step. One, brittle prints. When you can crush your prints easily by hand, you know something is wrong. Two, your prints feel light and hollow. As demonstrated in this example, light passes through the print. You can always verify with your slicer. All slices indicate what your print should weigh. That value is accurate and very useful when troubleshooting to see if your printer is under extruding. In this example, when checked on a scale, it's missing two grams. Number three, your dimensions are way off. In my test print, it's off by 0.5 millimeters. In some use case, a tolerance of plus minus 0.5 millimeters is a failed print. Under extrusion caused by a wrong E-step value is harder to identify because most of the time prints will finish successfully and will pass the eye test. Lastly, if you modify your printer, say install a direct drive or upgrade the extruder, it's always a good idea to calibrate your E-step value. Leave a question on the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer everything. Cheers.